Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and I am super happy to get back into some more Red vs. Blue Season 17 Singularity. We are doing episodes 4, 5, and 6, and these will be fresh reactions because, like I said, then the last one I had to do a re reaction due to some file loss, but I waited. That way I could take some time, watch that, and then watch these and still kind of be fresh on them. And yeah, it should be fun. For those who don't know, you you know you can actually watch these up to a month early on our Patreon where we release them uh, full cuts, no edits because of the YouTube stuff. Having said that, also always remember to support the original content creators, Rooster Teeth, because without Rooster Teeth, we would not be able to watch these amazing products. And, you know, they deserve some money for their hard work, man. So, you know, check out Rooster Teeth, Rooster Teeth, RoosterTeeth.com. Uh, there should also be a link in the description below. And you can maybe subscribe, check out some of their stuff, maybe buy a shirt or something, you know. Show us some of the love that we have for their show and uh, their other great shows like Ruby and Camp Cap, etc. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and rock right into it. I'm excited to see what exactly Wash and Donut are going to do to try to stop the reds and blues from stopping them and because once again they like the way that functions all time happens right the ever win all happens all at once and technically all time happens that way but uh there's got to be some more complications because when they've lost the time gun so how are they going to traverse to the right spots and make sure not to crack time so much that krovos you know what i mean also kind of goes into it and i also forgot to and start both recordings whoops but that's okay now i started the second one we're good and uh yeah let's get into it this is red versus blue singularity episode four breach in the taurus so i think that's what it is i have a big spot on my television i need to replace this television No talking, just action. This is gonna take a while. Sound effect. I like it because they're talk I never assumed anything. It keeps me sharp. You're sharp as a boiled 
right now we're planning our counterattack. And in just a moment, we're going to be joined by Kimble. Hey, Kimble. Uh, hi. Whoa. Don't it help me you've all got some pretty major deja vu? <laughs> sure thing, Wash. Guys, it sounds like Wash needs our help. Thanks, Epsilon. I know, I mean, you really need our help, Wash. And I know a fractured personality when I see one. Here's my trip. Oh. Yeah. Wash, you're scaring me. What? I get the feeling you've been burning this civil war at both ends. Are you okay? Yes. All we're saying is this could be a leaky implant or a legit flashback. For better reason. Yeah, unfortunately. Mm -mm. Donuts, the all of time is broken because of what they did. You cannot change the past just because you don't like it. That's not how it works. When you do that, you've done it for a selfish reason. No matter mo once again, Wash could have been just fine with his cy her his hyperplexia. His issue wasn't with being injured. His issue was her lying to him about being injured, which is totally viable, right? No, going back and literally changing him getting shot does, still doesn't change the fact that she lied about it. It would prevent her from having to lie about it, but it does not change that dynamic even in the slightest. Uh, Don't is just wrong here, objectively. Nope. Doesn't matter. Once again, that it that does not once again, all, she could have went and talked to Wash about it. Any number of things. Instead, she decided to risk everybody else in the entire universe, including all of her friends and his friends. Because she couldn't woman up and tell him. Like I said, unfortunately, the, the, that's an objectively wrong run on it. Did Epsilon seem dank and to you? He did. I get the feeling it's not going to be as simple as can 
Yes. Yeah, he does need to get over it. This is the universe. <laughs> Either cop out now and... He had to go to a time of... I was wondering how they'd fuck it all up. I was also wondering how they'd fix it too, which I think is an interesting take they put on it. In memory of Casey Kendrick. Oh, RVB14 crew. Rest in peace. That was cool. Uh, we're on to episode five, the not so good old days, I'm guessing. Yeah, the not so good old days. All right, let's check them. So he's going to get Carolina first. Is this three on one fight? They all die, so I wouldn't really feel insulted by someone I know doesn't last as long as I do. <laughs> Alright, go get beat up by Texas again. I was just say that. I 
I like that they did that. The Reds, the Blues. Smart woman. Sorry, space time continuum, but I'm gonna need you to take a couple more one twos. That's the actual last name. That's cool.
East Carolina. Where are we heading first? We're gonna run into a team of soldiers, I'm assuming. Ex-freelancer? Sort of. Depending on where they're stationed, we can pick up my armor on the way. I've still got my adaptive camo and... That won't be necessary. What? Trust me, the moment you see these guys, you'll understand it. There's the episode. That's cool. I thought that was that was interesting. I thought it was really cool that they used her last name, McAllister. Um, which thanks for the people in the comments who can who are you know always provide me info about Carolina Tex and the director and their kind of family situation. Yeah. Tangential reality creation. Interesting. <laughs> Certain effects, right? Could theoretically, despite having different inputs, right? You could even have vastly different sets of inputs and somehow, right, through the correct combination of them, reach the same output and therefore not fracture time. They actually, it's funny because we're watching Loki. It's kind of somewhat along a similar thought process of the hiding in the apocalypse is where if you don't actually change anything it doesn't matter what you change right if the if the overall flow of time remains the same you're fine This is gonna crack reality itself. I don't remember this shit. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. It has softer upholstery.
guess they're twins. Didn't know that. I like how Sheila looked. I like how he realizes it first and he's like just not even broken. Damn, there it went, right at the end. I like how he... he uh, I want to see it to see if his head flashed when they all flashed. He didn't, he didn't flash! Okay. I think it was him, maybe it was somebody else. Oh, just hug her. See, look at this conversation that would have prevented this whole fucking season. But mostly pizza.
He's gonna rip his net off. I forgot he killed Duck. <laughs> wow, that was a fucked up joke. Wait, Huggins lives? Yes! How dare. She's going through the Einstein Rosen Bridge. They're not going to leave it on a sad note for Huggins, are they? Hello. Mm-hmm. Are they using that to just... Well, but the black hole is the singularity. That was cool, man. I thought that was really cool. It's cool to see that Huggins is probably still alive. I like Huggins. And obviously Griff likes Huggins, too. And I like Griff. I like Griff as a character. He's very interesting and unique. I mean, they all are. I think that's one of the best parts about Red vs. Blue is everybody's very characterized. You can... You know, they have very distinct personalities and interactions and situations that add to the overall plot. I really enjoyed this. Um, I thought the way they were dealing with time and paradoxes was kind of interesting. And, uh, you know, obviously it plays around with real concepts and then adds in science fiction. And I, I enjoy that. I like not taking science too seriously, but also having it be an applicable piece of your content. You know what I mean? Because they're doing a pretty good job uh, putting the correct terminologies and uh concepts into it with that said uh you know we're we're gonna be doing more episodes and as always you can check us out early if you'd like by joining the patreon you get it up to a month early actually for red versus blue at least until we catch up uh and you can get full uncut no edits all the audio you know don't have to worry about all the cuts youtube unfortunately makes us make uh even if you don't check out our patreon Remember to check out Rooster Teeth because they're the original content creators and if we don't support them They can't make more of this amazing content. So we want to do our best to give them some monetary compensation, you know And uh, yeah, if you like the video like comment subscribe hit the bell if you want notifications and get updated all the time And if you didn't like it, let me know why maybe I can improve my stuff So thank you guys a lot and I hope to catch you next time on reactions with an X red versus blue